Hello, everyone. I'm Hu Qingtao, one of the authors for Problem C of the IMC Challenge. The full name of Problem C is Multi-Parameter Wireless Network Optimization, based on coverage simulation. In this video, I will be providing a brief introduction to this problem. In 5G networks, we use the signal strands received by users as a key indicator of the network service quality. Signal strands determines user experience and affects how fast users can download files and how quickly games respond to their commands. A 5G network is a self-interference system composed of multiple cellular-based stations. 5G users must accurately identify where the signal they receive comes from in order to enjoy a fast network connection. Let's think of each base station that transmits signals as a source that emits light. If the light is too faint, one can hardly see it. If the light is bright enough but comes from multiple sources, it will be difficult to identify the exact source. To provide stable and satisfactory mobile services in urban areas, we have to deploy multiple light sources to form continuous coverage and we must minimize interference from sources that do not provide the brightest light. Before jumping to the problem, let's talk about some concepts involved in providing contiguous coverage in cities. The first is grid. We divide the space of a city into 5 by 5 by 3 meter grid, which are layered on top of each other according to the height of buildings. Empty space without any buildings is composed of only one layer of grid. Our aim is to ensure that the light quality in all grids meets certain requirements. The second is azimuth. We usually place three light sources in one spot. Each source provides horizontal coverage in the azimuth direction, spanning from minus 60 degree to plus 60 degree. No matter how the azimuth is adjusted, the light intensity is always the strongest in the azimuth direction and gradually weakens in the other directions. The third is the tilt angle, which determines how much a light source faces downwards. The larger the tilt angle, the smaller the coverage. The last concept is the beam pattern. When we use an enhanced antenna, a wide beam from a single light source can be divided into multiple narrow beams aimed at different directions. We adjust parameters to generate different combinations of such narrow beams, which provide different light intensities for various locations. But there is one major difference between radio signals and light. In the real world, light almost always travels in straight lines. Radio signals, however, tend to be reflected or diffracted when coming across obstacles like buildings or mountains. Signal strands drop significantly as the signals travel, but some strands still remain when they reach the user. To provide contiguous coverage and to deliver stable and reliable services for wireless network users, after deploying light sources, we adjust the parameters I just mentioned based on the geological features and the distribution of buildings in cities. Once that is completed, we use the following three indicators to evaluate light quality. The overall coverage ratio represents in how many grids the intensity of the strongest light received by users exceeds a certain threshold. The more such grids, the better. The overall overlapping ratio represents in how many grids users receive not only the light from the strongest light source, but also the light from at most three other light sources. Again, the more such grids, the better. The overall interference ratio represents in how many grids the ratio of the energy from the strongest light source to the total energy from other light sources exceeds a certain threshold. As with the previous two, the more such grids, the better. In this problem C of the IMC challenge, we have selected an area where 56 antennas at different azimuths have been deployed at 20 base stations. We expect you to adjust the azimuths, tilt angle, 
on the beam pattern of each antenna in a way that results in optimum overall radio signal strength and interference suppression effect. To assist you in your task, Huawei provides a high-precision coverage simulation model. The model can simulate and calculate the strength of signals from antennas and interference strengths at a grid for each antenna parameter configuration. As the simulation is complex and time-consuming, you can access the model only a limited number of times. If you are interested and want to use your algorithm to improve wireless experience for the public, don't hesitate to showcase your skills by tackling the multi-parameter wireless network optimization based on coverage simulation problem. Here are some references that might help you better understand the problem. Winners will not only receive fantastic financial rewards, but also get exclusive opportunities to meet and learn from fields medalists and other top experts. Besides, you are encouraged to invite the dormant specific teachers to act as coaches and challenge the individual prizes for coaches. See you in the challenge!